Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D Designer and Trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today we'll be continuing our look at viewports and how they can be used in conjunction with labeling our pipe networks. Let's take a look. Let's label up some pipe networks. I've got my plan view right here and my profile view. So let's make this easy. Let's go ahead and click Add Labels, click Feature, Pipe Network, click Entire Network Plan. And I'm good with the label style right here. Click Add. Let's move this off to the side. Wow, look at that. Well, that's a real time saver, isn't it? Zoom out of that. Let's start labeling our profiles. Entire profile. Click Add. Bam. Click Add. Actually, hit spacebar. That gives me the same command. Spacebar. Spacebar. Do that again. And we're golden. Look at that. But as I'm going through my pipe networks, I've got a crossing right here between my storm and my sanitary. Now, I'd like to be able to refer back to my profiles whenever I can if I'm ever making a change to this area. And I want to make sure that I have enough uh, depth between the, these two pipes. Okay, we don't want these things crossing into each other. So, as we're making our, our edits to this area, I hate having to go back and forth between the plan view and the profile view. See, we've got our crossing right here. Going back and forth like this is very, very annoying to me, to be quite honest with you. So, I solve that with viewports. Click to vertical. And we can zoom in on our area and zoom in on our profile. So right now as it stands we we have enough uh, clearance between these two pipes but still it just makes it nice. It, it gives me a sense of orientation as to where I'm at within my profile. Okay so I hope that tip helps you. Have a great day. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.